Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a decluttering of all of my makeup. I try and do this like once a year. I'm a little late. I think it's been a little bit more than a year since I've done the last one. I'll try and like link it up, um, the last one that I did. It's definitely time for me to go through my makeup collection and get rid of some stuff and also just give it a general clean. So I saw this one girl on TikTok. I forget her name, but I'll link her down below. She's doing like this closet clean out series and I really like the way she structures her videos. So I'm gonna kind of do it in a similar fashion Then I'm gonna go through every single quat. I can't speak today. I'm gonna go through every single category. I'm kind of just quickly show you the stuff of what I'm keeping, what I'm giving away and what I'm throwing out. I think I'm also gonna try and start like a keepsake collection because there's some things I do want to keep, but I'm not sure if it necessarily makes sense to keep it in my main makeup collection area. So yes, I wanna hopefully do it all today. So we'll see how this goes. Let me show you the before so you have an idea of what we're working with. Oh, and also before I forget, I'll mention this as we go, but yeah, basically I'm gonna have like a declutter pile. So things I'll go to my friends if they want anything. And then I'll have like a throw out pile and I'm also going to try and while I'm going through my collection see if there's anything that is discontinued and I'm going to try and be good at getting rid of discontinued stuff just because it's annoying for me to use it and show it in videos and posts and you guys can't even get it so we'll see how it goes let me show you the before so if you've watched my channel before you know my makeup setup I have these two drawers of products and then I have this section over here. We got a bunch of lips, eyeshadow pal palettes, brushes, and then this is like an overflow bin that I have going. So yes, the goal is to try and fit it so I don't have an overflow overflow bin anymore. It all fits in here. And yes, my table is dirty. I'm gonna wipe it down once we're done cleaning. I got some turtles behind me. <laughs> I just had it on my desk, so I just moved it out of the way. Also, sorry about the backlighting. This is literally, like, the easiest setup for me. So, we're starting starting off with foundation. I got, I literally just counted it, I forget what I said. We have 16 foundations or something like that. So, this one is discontinued. This is the Physician's Formula, the Healthy Foundation. But I'm literally almost done. And this is one of my favorites. I'm so sad it discontinued. So I'm going to keep it just because it's almost done. And then I can throw it out after. This is another one where it's like I, I'm almost done. So I'm just going to keep it and finish it up. And I really do love it. This is a Fenty Pro Filter Soft Matte. Another one that is almost done. This is a Smashbox one. So we're going to keep it. I have a lot that are like almost done. Which is kind of nice because it means that like soon enough. These three will be on my collection anyways. I have the When Wild Photo Focus, both the dewy and the normal ones in two different shades because I really did like this foundation. So I got two different shades, my summer and my winter shade. I'm going to keep the dewy formula because I like it more than the original formula. And also I think my original formula is like kind of going bad. Actually, it's not that bad. I don't need both formulas. I prefer the dewy version, so I'm going to keep those. This one is also discontinued, but I really do enjoy it, so I'm going to keep it. Also, I do think I am pretty low. Actually, it's not discontinued. My beauty doesn't exist anymore, but we're going to keep this. This is a Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder. Do they still make this? Oh, okay. No, they do still make it. Yeah, this shade is too dark for me, so I'm going to get rid of it. I can't remember whether or not I like this. I think because the sunscreen might break me out. I'm gonna make like a test again pile. So that way if there's any products where I'm like, I haven't used this in a while, so I can't remember whether or not I like it. So I'm gonna make one of those piles so that way I know whether or not I wanna keep this product. So I'm gonna put that one there. And then I have these two as well that I'm gonna add to the test again pile. So this is a L'Oreal Infallible, and this is the Catrice True Skin. So we're gonna add these to the chest again. I will say this one is very light in shade. This might not even be my right shade. Okay, and then the next four are keeps. We have the e.l.f. What are you? Flawless Satin. We have my Fenty Eavesdrops, my Fenty Hydrating, and my NARS Radiant Creamy. No, you're not Radiant Creamy. Light Reflecting. 
So I have one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten that I'm keeping, but three I'm gonna probably finish within the next couple months. Three I'm gonna retest, three I'm getting rid of. For a concealer, I have 10. So this is technically not a concealer, but I keep it in the concealer category. This is the La Roche Posay Eveclair Duo Unifiant. Oh, I'm reading the French. I always do this. <laughs> this is the Global Action Unifying Corrective Care. It's basically like a tinted skincare product. More, I use it more like a foundation, but I just keep it in my concealer bin. So I'm going to keep this because I really do like it. I got two NARS Radiant Creamy Concealers. This is like the shade I usually wear. This is like a more summery shade. This is almost empty. Another one that's almost empty. This is my e.l.f. Look, you can really see it's almost empty. This is my e.l.f. Camo Concealer. And it's funny because this is my face concealer. This isn't even the right shade underneath my eyes. So I think this shows that I really like this one. This is another good one. This is the Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum one. I'm going to keep it. One of my favorites right now, this is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. Also, I'm not linking anything. I'm sorry, but there's just too much stuff for me to link. And then I think I'm going to keep this one too. This one is a little lighter, so it's good. The color for it is a little light, so it's good when I want something more intense. This is the Re Makeup Revolution Conceal Define. Okay, the three I'm getting rid of is this Maybelline Fit Me. It's just really dark. Like it was like my summer shade for my face. So I really don't need to keep this. This one was always too light for me. This is the ColourPop one. I always use this to do cut creases when that was like the really big makeup trend just because it was way too light for my under eyes, but I don't do cut creases very often, so I don't need to keep a whole entire concealer for it. And this NYX Can't Stop One Top one is a little too yellow. Okay, now for primers. This was a really hard category. I've got 14 different primers, and it was just really hard for me to let some go. I have primers that do kind of like different things, and then also I have quite a few that are like almost empty, so I'm just like, well, I don't want to get rid of some other ones that kind of replace type of thing so this was hard but anyways i think i've kind of narrowed it down so first of all i so you can see i'm almost done this radial soft focus glow drops like it's literally almost done so we're just gonna keep it and finish it and then i have this glow recipe one this is a really good dupe for this so once these are done i will try and use these up more so i'm gonna keep these two even though they're kind of sort of the same thing like they do very similar this is the dr brandt pores no more luminizing primer and then this is the revlon photo ready prime plus brightening and skin tone evening i would say these are like kind of this is a really good dupe for this which is why i'm keeping both because i do really like both of them and i just like having a cheaper drugstore option to be able to recommend to people also this one i'm like not cl super close to finishing but i'm like it's half used up type of thing so I'm like might as well keep it it's not like a full thing it's kind of awkward to give someone something half used so keeping that two drugstore primers that i really love this is the next marshmallow one i don't really have any other primers that are like it and i love it and this is the elf putty poreless one this one is really good i really do like it especially compared to some other pore filling ones i did have this pretty this touch and soul pretty filter icy sherbet it's not exactly the same thing but it kind of does the same thing so i'm getting rid of this one also because i've had this forever and i've barely made a dent in it but yeah you can see like i've barely used it well i've used a decent amount but there's still like a lot left so Hopefully I can give that to someone else and I can get more use out of it. Another one that's like almost empty is this Touch and Soul Glassy Skin Balm. I really do like this, but I'm so close to finishing it. You can see like there's barely anything left. So yeah, I'm going to keep this one because it's almost done. And then the two other primers I'm keeping is the e.l.f. Power Grip and this Laura Geller Spackle Hydrating one. Just because I don't really have any other just like pure hydrating one and while my skin is oily so i don't necessarily always need a super hydrating primer it's just good to have so then the four that i'm getting rid of is this toy factory prime collagen one i actually just got it in my boxy charm i wish i hadn't taken off the tab because 
then I could have donated it, but I did. So this is gonna have to go to one of my friends. This is a Dr. Brandt backlight primer. I just feel like I don't need this, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Same with this list one. I used it a few times. This is a Secure Skin Gripping Primer, and I just have a few other ones that already do gripping. And then this is a Skin Ink Serum Glow Filter, which, once again, I have a couple of Chloe Dewy highlights already. Not highlights, primers, so I don't need another one. So, getting rid of five primers. Just, uh, swatched up all of my eyeliners <laughs> and i just sharpened all of my pencil ones uh i also went through my mascaras so my mascaras what i do now is that i always i don't know if you can see it but i just put a little label of when i bought it so that way i can throw it out after a year i think technically it expires earlier than a year but that's kind of my personal threshold so i'm getting rid of three mascaras i'm so sad about this one because it's discontinued but this is a bite beauty outswing mascara this is really good i say discontinued once again the bite beauty brand has shut down so it's not discontinued it just literally no longer exists this item beauty one this lash slick technically i got it in april but that's like one month away so i'm like i might as well get rid of it now because in a month, I probably won't remember. This L'Oreal Telescopic says unknown. So I'm going to take this as a sign that I should declutter it. And then I have a couple of eyeliners that I'm getting rid of. Six of them are liquid. So I have this like white one. What brand are you? This is a Rimmel one. I never really liked it that much anyways. Then I have this L'Oreal Black. This NYX Black. This Queen Beauty Black and this loyal blue one this one was really nice i might try and repurchase it and this tarte brown one i'm just thinking that i've had all of those liquid liners for a really long time so it's probably good to get rid of them i'm gonna make a list of any of the things that i really need especially since we're coming up uh to the sephora sale so black and brown eyeliner liquid eyeliners i'm gonna need some new ones I'm also getting rid of this old Marc Jacobs brown one. I also am getting my rid of my other brown pencil, so I will need a brown pencil as well. And then all the pencils that I'm keeping, I just sharpen my pencils and then I'm kind of fine with using them still, even though they're kind of old. Some of them are probably no longer available, but I don't mind that much just because eyeliner is not necessarily something that I talk about very often. If I'm doing a makeup look, I'm not like shouting out an eyeliner, so I don't mind it too much about keeping stuff that is discontinued. So I have this navy blue, um, black. Actually, I have a bunch of blacks. I should probably declutter some, but I'm too lazy. So I have one, two, three blacks. I'm not sure which one I like the most. That's mainly why. So four blacks. I got this turquoise. Um, a nude. I definitely need a white pencil though. I don't have a white pencil. I've got a uh, bronze, a silver, a green, and this like maroony shade. Those are my eyeliners. And then my three mascaras that I'm keeping, I have this Essence Lash Princess, this Ilya Volumizing one, and this Tower 28 one. So that's it for eyeliners and mascaras that was definitely the area that i needed to declutter the most so glad i did that i think it's time for lips yep it's the next one this thing oh man this is gonna take forever to do <laughs> i just did lip liners at first actually i just swatched them all it's really annoying because two of my favorites are these maybelline ones and i don't make these these are quite old. These are probably from high school. They don't make them like these. They're Maybelline ones are more um, twist up ones. And this is one of my favorites. Like you can see I've used quite a bit of it when you compare it to a normal one. But yeah, they don't make it anymore. Same with this. Other. So this is like, this was in the shade Rose. And then this was in the shade Raisin. And I don't think they have the exact dupes. So anyways, my plan is I'm going to go to the drugstore and look at like Maybelline lip liners and see if I can find like a more current dupe for these and if not at Maybelline I'm going to try and find it at other beauty counters so once I do find a dupe for these I will get rid of them but the other ones that I own that I will be keeping is this Makeup Forever one I think I got this as a mini not 
did it this small. I have a Patrick Ta one. I have this Jante Bleu one. I have a Mellow. I think this is Mellow. A bunch of these I got in my boxy charm. This one I got in my boxy charm and I love. This is a Steve Laurent one. This is a Cash Beauty one. I bought this and I love it. This is a NYX one. And then this is a Real Her one. They're all kind of like slightly different shades. I know that like on my hand, it might not look like it, but they are slightly different. So yeah, that's my lip liner collection. Okay, now on to actual lip products. Up next, we have lip gloss, which I have a lot here. 21 lip glosses. <laughs> and there might be one or two kicking around that I can't seem to find. I got five that I'm for sure giving away. I have this Brooks Bees one. I just don't really like the squeezy tube packaging that much. Pains me to do this, but I use this in my you know, makeup challenge. And while I love this lip gloss, I'm going to give it away because a cap broke while I was filming it. I don't know if you can see right there. So I feel like that means that it's just, it's not going to last much longer. And this is discontinued anyways. I'm getting rid of this Too Faced Lips Injections one because... It hurts my lips every single time I use it. I'm going to get rid of this Tannis one just because I don't really reach for it. All right, same with this Tristelice one. I got these two. This is a Buxom mini and a Pat McGrath mini. And I'm going to keep the Pat McGrath one just because the shades are very similar. But I like the Pat McGrath one more because I'm not a huge fan of the pumping lip feeling. Another one where I have three really similar shades is I have this Sephora Collection one. It's a plumping one, so I'm getting rid of that one. I just prefer a non-plumping formula over a plumping formula. My cat's in the background. Sorry if she makes noise. Then I have this Laura Mercier one and then this Iconic London one. They're all kind of just like... They're all kind of like neutral glosses, but I like this Iconic London Formula 1 more. Even though it is a plumping one, I just like the tone of it more. Okay, this one, I'm putting it in the test category. This is a Dominique Cosmetics. It's in this very like bright pink, and I'm just not sure. I can't remember what I think of it on the lips, so I want to try it when I'm ma wearing makeup, see if I actually like the shade on my lips or not. Okay, and then quickly going through some of my keeps, you probably will recognize a lot of these. Maybe not all of them, but at some point or other, I have worn a lot of these. So I have my door lip glow oil. I have this Rare Beauty. It's technically a bomb, but I really enjoy this one. This is my Cab lip oil. As you can see, I've gone through quite a bit of it. I really do like this lip oil formula and I have like a clear and, and tinted lip oil, so two different ones. I have this Tower 28 lip gloss in this brown shade, and then this um, Merit Beauty um, lip oil as well. But this lip oil is like different from the other ones. Anyways, these two, I have this ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in this really nice like peachy shade. We've got this Maybelline Lifter Gloss and the Fenty one. These are, the shades are different, so it's not like it's the exact same shade. This is much more like, I don't know if you can see the difference in those lighting. This one's a lot pinker, so they're not the same. I have this Alamar Cosmetics one. This is a lot more cool tone. And then finally, a nice clear gloss. This is the Essence shine 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 lip gloss so yeah those are all my lip glosses i think i narrowed that down a bit okay um next we have bullet lipsticks which was really difficult because i actually really really do enjoy wearing bullet lipsticks probably my favorite lip formula to wear so i'm only getting rid of one two one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it's just because they're all discontinued. <laughs> so I actually know this one might not be discontinued, but it is this super dark ColourPop one, which I don't wear these really dark shades anymore. I definitely had my moment in university where I loved them. Yeah, not anymore. So we're getting rid of that one. This is a Cash Beauty lipstick. It's funny because it's supposed to be rose nude, but I find it so peachy that I just don't really like the look of it on my lips. So I'm getting rid of it, oh, even though the packaging... It's gorgeous. I love it. Anyways, getting rid of these two Trustique lip pencils. I'm really sad because I do really like this one, but this one's discontinued and this one isn't discontinued, but I don't like the shade as much. I'm getting rid of this Elena Davidson X Nude Stick Still Lippy just because it was limited edition. And I also 
never reached for it that much anyways i have a bite beauty lippy that you know bite beauty doesn't exist anymore i have this limited edition covergirl x katy perry lipstick which i loved for a really long time but i find that the clinique almost lipstick is like a pretty similar shade so we're just gonna keep that and then i have this l'oreal color Riche shine lippy but they don't make this shade anymore so those ones i'm getting rid of now quickly the ones that i'm keeping i do have i have two color pop ones this is their just a tint and then this is a lippy stick oh also i'm keeping this color pop lipstick for now just because i want to try and find a dupe for the shade because this is one of the kathleen lee's lights collab in what's your sign and i really do like the shade of it but it was limited edition so i'm going to try and find a dupe for this lipstick so i'm putting it aside to try and look for a dupe i have this glossy lipstick i have from the drugstore i got a bird's bee lipstick and this elf sheer one i have three mac lipsticks so velvet velvet teddy is one of my faves and then i also have dime turn art which can't find at sephora but you can find on their website and then i also have what are you this is russian red which i don't wear very often but it was my prom lipstick shade so i will always keep that it's probably expired but you know i'm just bad and i'm gonna keep it i have this merit lipstick this is like a brown shade i have two maybelline these are really bad i've had these for a really long time but they're still good and they're still available so these are the shades daring ling nude and almond rose if you want to see like all these swatches or stuff let me know maybe i can do that for you i got one charlie tilbury list lipstick this is pillow talk classic like I said, I got my Clinique Almost Lipstick and I got its dupe. This is a CoverGirl Clean Brush. I've got this NARS Velvet Lip Crayon. This is a great formula from NARS. Very nice on the lips for every day. This random, this is Sophia and Maybell. Got this on my box of charm and I really do like it. It's like a darker color, but it's not too pigmented. I got this Dior Lipstick. Actually, I don't even know. It's their Ultra Care. Oh, this is a lipstick. Anyways, I got this one. I worked at Sephora, so I will never get rid of it. I do sometimes wear it, though. It's like the, like an orangey, but it's like a lip balm, so it's not too pigmented. Oh, and then I have three lip balms kicking around, because I never get rid of lip balms. Oh, and I'll include this here. I have the Benefit Benetint as well. Let's quickly go through my small liquid lipstick collection we're talking liquid lipsticks which i used to have so many because i started getting into makeup in 2016 at the height of the liquid lipstick era i still have a few kicking around but i am decluttering even more because i just don't reach for them or they're no longer available so I have there's three half cake ones which I never reach for. I very rarely reach for liquid lipsticks. The two exceptions being these NARS Power Matte Lip Pigments, which they don't even feel like your classic liquid lipstick. They are almost more like a lip stain. They're very comfortable on the lips. So I reach for these two a lot, especially in the summer. This is a shade like My Fire, which if you've ever seen me wear my like bright orange lip, it's this color. And then I have the shade Your no good which is like a really bright fuchsia so these are the two i'm obviously keeping some of the other ones i'm keeping i got three ofra ones because if you remember ofra was the classic liquid lipstick and i got all three of these in my boxy charm i think uh these are their old packaging though so i have verona santa anna which are two shades i like would consider wearing and then this i keep just for fun i actually wore this as hallow on halloween on my lips so i keep it for that purpose this is a shade napa valley i don't even know if they keep it but yeah this is just a fun shade just to keep around the other two shades i'm keeping this is stila patina which you can tell i loved because almost all of the packaging is rubbed off and then this is galactic the sticker has fallen off but i think this is posh so we're keeping these and the other ones i'm getting rid of i have this tart one 
an Anastasia Beverly Hills one that's discontinued, a Kat Von D one, so you know this is discontinued. Actually, they might still have this shade in the new KBD. And this brand that I don't even know because it's been rubbed off, but I love this one. This one was definitely one I wore a lot when I went out in university, but because I don't even know what the brand is, I'm just gonna get rid of it. We made a lot of progress in the lip category, that's for sure. I now just have like one little bucket of liquid lips, which is really good. Hey guys, so this is future editing Leah here. So when I filmed this video, I was initially thinking of making it just one big video, but after editing it, I literally have an hour of edited footage. So I think an hour long video decoder is a little too long. So we're gonna break this up into two parts. In the next part, we'll do all of my eyeshadow palettes and then we'll do all of my face products. So blush, bronzer, and highlights. Stay tuned to see that. Please let me know if you enjoyed this decluttering video. Please like this video if you want to see more makeup related content from me and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on the part two of the makeup declutter. I'll see you in another video super soon. Bye!